Good morning, YouTube! Looks like the M4 Mini has a few problems. Video issues with some displays, and definitely a lot of issues with devices being hooked up and killing the Wi-Fi signal off. A lot, okay? By the way, anybody who would want to donate even a base model Mac Mini, they're like $800 Canadian for a base model, so whatever that is in US, um, I would really appreciate it because what I'd like to do is testing on my own equipment I just don't have the money okay right now and I am trying to get financing for a new computer as it is and I'm I'm leaning more towards a studio and depends on when they're released I may end up having to go to a MacBook this time um, because I, I do need I do want a new computer and I do need one I just don't have the money to do two right um, I may be able to get the money to get a new daily driver, but not a guinea pigger. So if anybody wants to donate one to the channel, that would be awesome. You can get a hold of me uh, through YouTube. Uh, you can even find me on Facebook. Um, anyways, so what's going on here is uh, people are plugging displays in and getting some really weird stuff happen. Now, <clears throat> I do have a video on my channel uh, on Monterey. We had an issue with some video problems. That may or may not work uh, for this problem. We don't know, okay? And I still have more research to do on YouTube as it is to find out what all the video issues are happening because this would give me a little bit more information to go on. Um, and with the Wi-Fi thing, I've watched some stuff. Um, people are plugging devices in, like external drives, and all of a sudden the Wi-Fi signal gets cut in half or upwards to 80% loss instantaneously. Um, moving the device away, still being plugged in, gain a bit of speed back, but we're still not back to normal, right? That sort of stuff. And um, the one thing I did point out to this one chap's video is, you know, like you're pinging your jitter, they change randomly all the time as you're surfing even page to page or even just sitting there doing nothing. Um, but never a dump like that. That I have to agree with them on. You will never ever see dumps like that, okay, with what's going on. Now, I did see his devices. Now, even a brand spanking new Quizlab hub, um, he does reviews for Quizlab, and they sent him a new hub, which kind of hovers the Mini, and it's for the Mini M4 specifically because of the power switch thing. And um, so anyways, they had sent it out, and the story goes that they immediately got home and say, don't use that one. Uh, it has a problem. We're going to send you out a new one. So he ends up with two of these. The only difference he can tell between the two of them is one has like a Faraday cage type paint or grounding thing, whatever uh, he calls it. Anyways, that was his words, not mine. Uh, the other one had nothing on the inside. So, but either way, he did have an SSD in there, which his speed tests are fine as far as his SSD goes. So we're not experiencing problems as far as you know the devices themselves working what we're we're, we're fi finding is it's killing the wi-fi signal on the computer now windows computers are not by any way shape or form um got any kind of shielding okay like even my pc laptop it's a piece of plastic right and it's gamer system which is nice but there is no real shielding on anything in there okay like nothing right so shielding is not the issue okay so there's something definitely funny going on now what i what i can tell you what i do know um i have all up-to-date modern stuff within the last two years okay so all my stuff is the newest tech out there for drives so i have a lot of different thunderbolt and type c drives and type a drives and other devices i can test to see if this is on like even one that if somebody would send me one of these base model minis, okay? And if it's doing it to those, and it's doing it to stuff that's older, like he had, mostly other than that quiz lab, then this is going across all devices, specifically, okay? And then we gotta narrow down, okay, what could be the problem? Now, we do know that every device that's electronic, it gives off heat, heat is, heat is radiation, Radiation signatures will change from device to device. And of course, this is part of radio waves too, right? And because they're signals, right? They're, they're rads. And, but they're so minimal 
it shouldn't matter and it never has before. Like I, I've plugged a ton of devices into Macs in the past and PCs. I've never ever seen Wi-Fi being an issue. Uh, I even have an M1 Mini. I did my own experimenting on my own M1 Mini because I never really pay much mind to that, right? I mean, I'm on Starlink too and I know what to expect with Starlink with weather conditions, which is like minimal interference at, at that, okay? But it's also a super fast connection. I also know the other hardware that is in my house for routers and whatnot. And well, they're far enough away from my computer that a router wouldn't be an issue, okay? Um, I'm hooked into Wi-Fi with my Mini. I've had my Mini on, on um, Ethernet and had no issue. Now, you probably won't experience an issue on Ethernet. It's only seeming to be happening on the Wi-Fi. Okay, as far as I know, I still have more research to do on YouTube because I need to compile a bunch of study information to see what all the problems are in whole and I would like to be able to test them somehow. I just financially can't afford to do one of these and then buy a new computer on top of that. So yeah, like I said, anybody who wants to donate to the channel, definitely you get a massive shout out and I'd be very grateful for the help on this and maybe I can help fix this problem for everybody. Okay, maybe, I, I can't guarantee anything, all right? But we, we need to find out somehow, is this just a random thing? Is this a batch problem? Um, who knows, you know? But more than 50% of purchasers so far have been reporting these problems so far. Now there are people who won't notice because, well, they're just people, okay? Um, best story I can give you on that one of people are people. I recently had a computer in here from um, a client um, that's a client of the guy I work for in North Bay. It's a pawn shop. I do system reloads and the odd time somebody who bought a system might bring it in to them and say, hey, I got some problems. Is there any way you can help me out with this? Yeah, we got a tech guy, which is me. So anyways, this one computer was sent to me uh, the other day and it had screen flicker issues. So he asked me when I went, was at the store, he says, any idea? I said, well, could be a loose connection, bad connection, could be the screen is going la la, okay. Um, don't know until I dive into it. He says, okay, well, find out, let me know, okay, and let me know what it's going to cost, because this is not something he's warranting, because it's way off of even a pawn shop warranty. So anyway, <laughs> I get this thing home along with another computer that he had me that is uh, store stuff that I have to reload for sale. So anyway... I'm going through this computer and the first thing I always do is I check people's Windows updates when they start telling me they got problems. And yep, definitely uh, she hasn't been updating and uh, hasn't even done any optional updates, probably ever. And what was in those optional updates? Trackpad, turns out. But before I even got that far, I fired this thing up and I'm, I, I was allowed to sign in. I mean, the thing would let me get that far before it would mess up. And so, but as soon as I signed in and as soon as I touched that trackpad, all of a sudden everything goes squirrely. So I'm looking up these problems on the internet, specific, because it's an HP. And they give me a whole list of, oh, it could be this, this, this. And I'm like, uh, no, no, possibly, maybe, I don't know but drivers were not on the list for this particular one. So anyways, all right, well, we got driver issues, so let's, let's start with the drivers. I couldn't even put in the trackpad driver until I got a feature update done, plus a whack load of others, and in a specific order. And I'm like, oh, that was so frustrating. Okay, but I did finally get it done, and once that trackpad update went in, Everything was perfect, but prior to even doing that, I tried an external USB mouse, and even that made this thing go la la. So there's a USB issue too with this HP laptop. Don't ask me the model number because I never wrote it down. I don't remember. All I know is it's silver. It's got an i3 core processor in it, and that's about it. And I can tell you no more than that. But either way, all I had to do was get around the frustration, get all the updates done, get all the feature updates done that were missing as well. Because even after all the major ones were done and things were straightened out, rescan again, had another major one to do. Okay, plus uh, after that was done, had two other updates come through and it's like, oh my gosh, 
There was one thing I do hate about Windows, okay? It's the constant frigging updates. So the bottom line is, with that one at least, always keep your OS up to date. But we don't have that issue here. This is brand new tech here, okay? This is like the most current. So, and you're gonna have the most current Mac OS on there when it's, when it's shipped out to you, if it's a custom order or what have you. And right now we're at Sequoia 15.2. Probably going to be 15.21 pretty soon, okay? I'm sure Apple might blame the monitor thing on the OS, but I really don't think so either because I haven't heard of any problems with Sequoia 15.2 with any other Macs. But you never know. I mean, who knows? But the Wi-Fi thing, that's not an update. That's something else. It's got to be something else. We need to find this out. And I'm curious, and I have to know. So, but anyway... Um, Hopefully we can resolve this. Hopefully I can give you guys some solutions if I get the opportunity to be able to do this for you guys. But it will take a kind soul out there that will buy me at least the base model um, for testing purposes. Now, if I don't experience any problems, I'm going to nail it up to it's either I don't have old enough crap to screw it up or it's a random thing. Okay, that's all I know. Okay, I mean, that would be the end result. Uh, but then again, I would go further because I have a friend who has some really old crap for tech, okay? Now, not that it's crap. It's just, it's old stuff. And I could probably borrow some of that stuff from him, okay? That or take the mini to him. We would spend some time. We would shoot a video at his place. We wouldn't be the first time, okay? And we could test some of his older stuff and maybe see if maybe it's, it's going to be just... A certain age of tech might not be getting along with the Mini. But then we should be hearing these reports across every current M4 out there, right? You would think, right? But there are people who do not pay attention to their computers, especially for their Wi-Fi. They'll just be like, well, maybe it's just because the weather's really crummy. It seems a little slower, you know, or whatever. And people do do that. They really do. But this is just... This is ludicrously nuts what's happening. And with the videos I've seen so far, it's like, that is just not right, y'all. Now, I have two browsers open right now. I have Chrome and Safari. Uh, Safari is my upfront browser. We're just going to do a speed test here. And it is really crappy weather outside. It's been snowing all night, but my Starlink dish that we're on, um, it keeps snow off of it. It's, it's like a radio wave machine, man. It just stays hot and nothing sticks to it. Anyway, let's see what happens. This is the Bracebridge, Ontario, Lakeland Night Network. Okay. Wow. We're cooking. Very nice. Getting up there. 309 down. Upload speed. No, uh, we're probably going to be sitting around 16, 17. 16, 6. Okay, now, that is with a 49 millisecond ping and 18 jitter. Okay, let's do this one more time. 7 jitter, 52 ping. It changes that fast, but our speeds aren't dropping that drastically here i mean they're doing really good 326 this time for the download uploads doing quite well so it, it's it's pretty damn close okay one thing you cannot control is locking into a server when you're surfing with this program you can lock down a specific server. So if I want the Aurelia server for netcrawler.ca, okay, we can go on that one, okay? Sometimes a server that's further away does better than one that's closer. In this case, we're getting some really crappy speeds here. Um, 63 millisecond ping, 21 jitter. We're not even hitting, well, do we just hit over 50? 55. So you can see by an alternate of a server, you can definitely have some issues here, okay? And like I said, you can't control what server your computer is, is pinging and jittering on as you're surfing, 
However, by doing straight out tests, which this chap did on his channel, um, he's able to lock a server in, I believe, with the program he was using. Um, and so it stays reasonably consistent. So yeah, and when over 50% of Mac Mini users have been reporting the same issues, this isn't a random, oh, it's just the internet. This is like, hey, this is definitely something with devices. And um, his only device that was brand spanking new tech was these Quizlab hubs, one with a coating inside, one without. And one, the one without was worse than the one with, but either way, um, all of his devices, his drives and stuff were having issues. Um, and he did so many different test scenarios, which was very interesting. Um, and there all seemed to be pluses and minuses to all this stuff. Um, but hmm, we need to figure this out, guys. We really do. Um, this has got my curiosity level way up there. Anyway, so there you have it. That's all I have for news to report right now. I have more homework and stuff to do. But again, if anybody wants to donate to the cause here, I would really appreciate the help on this one. Um, like I said, just a base model mini is all we need for the M4 and uh, we can go from there. So if you wanna donate that to the channel for, for all this stuff and any other problems we come up with, I'd, I would have it for any future problems too and see what else we can figure out. And I would be definitely doing more testing either way off camera uh, over time just to see you know what's happening here what's happening there blah 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 and we can go from there with it and hopefully be able to fix everything as we go along but I don't believe it's a software issue with the OS uh, that's causing the Wi-Fi issue it's something else um, as far as the screen thing goes that could be a software thing um, like I said check my video on YouTube where we had some problems with Monterey um, and that may fix your problem with your screen or it may not. But I mean, if I plug my LG in and it has an issue, well then there's definitely something not cool going on here. Um, but we will be able to figure something out hopefully. And if I do get a solution out of it for that, because I do end up with a problem, then at least we know how to fix at least this one and possibly other screens and we can apply the same little tricks or whatever anyway that's it that's all see you in the next one